my loves, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Hi, hello, my name is Loey. Welcome back to the haunted side of TikTok. How was your week? How are you guys? I'm doing pretty well, I've had a pretty good week. 2022, I can easily say, was probably one of the absolute worst years of my entire life, and I'm very glad that it's over. <laughs> But as always, you guys are what keeps me going, and I'm so thankful for every single one of you. You made this year not only bearable, but also better by just being part of our little YouTube family, so thank you. Today I have for you 23 TikToks from the haunted side of TikTok. We're back with a hefty one today. Everything from an update on everyone's favorite haunted doll, Charlotte to footage that looks like it's straight out of paranormal activity itself. Today we have a lot of really creepy footage to look over. Do you guys remember a few videos back when I talked about the infamous doll haunted Charlotte, who was going super viral on TikTok back in August, but seemingly disappeared? Well, I was tagged in a TikTok from a user who goes by the name of Dustin Dean Mentalist. At the end of my Haunted Charlotte video, you might remember that we had a big ongoing discussion among my comment section on when somebody morally or maybe just for the safety of everyone around them has to disclose when a piece of work is fiction, when it's an ARG when it's not real. And interestingly enough, Dustin has come forward stating that he is the sole creator of the Haunted Charlotte account. After my last debunking video, a lot of you were wondering about my secret fake haunted page that I created as an experiment to show how easily you can fool someone into believing that something paranormal is happening and how easily that content can go viral. Now, my secret page has gained over 200,000 followers and over 30 million overall views. And that was within a few weeks. Allow me to introduce Charlotte, also known on TikTok as haunted underscore Charlotte. I convinced people that this was a real haunted doll. I even had psychics comment or make videos about how they could see the spirit attached to the doll. My hubby can see and hear and talk to spirits and right away he saw what it was. It's a demon. No bigger than I want to say about this tall. When in reality, all I did was use basic magician's trickery to make it seem like haunted things were happening around the doll. I actually do a haunted magic show with Charlotte. I do this around Halloween every year, where seemingly paranormal things happen on stage and freak people out. If you feel me tapped on your left side, I want you to raise your left hand. It turns out that Dustin is a paranormal skeptic, and the Charlotte account was sort of like an experiment for him to see how easy it was to convince people of a haunting. But it is fascinating how quickly people will be fooled into believing the paranormal with absolutely no proof or evidence. Don't trust everything you see on TikTok. Stay critical. Be skeptic. Thanks, guys. One of the big question marks by the end of my video on the subject was on artists and how artists' work should or can be used in fiction settings. And it was still a big question, like had the person who made the Haunted Charlotte account ever talked to the artist? It was confirmed in the comment section of Dustin's video explaining that he did create Haunted Charlotte, that he in fact reached out to zombie dolls to let them know what he was up to. So case closed on that, I guess. It was interesting timing and I'm unsure if it uh, co-aligned with the release of my video or if it was just really, really like a crazy coincidence that I happened to make that video. But I'm glad to have some answers and excited to see what else Dustin might do with the Haunted Charlotte account. This next TikTok realistically could have gone in my last video about the AI manga filter on TikTok. However, I made this list of these haunted TikToks before I started working on that video actually. They're kind of going up in reverse order and I think that this one is so funny. I kind of didn't want to use it for that video. I sort of just wanted it to stay in here. So if you are unfamiliar, if you didn't watch that video, people are using this AI generated art filter that turns everything into like anime slash manga style for ghost hunting. And this person asked a simple question. Did this thrifted dresser bring ghosts? This is from the user Schnitzels, by the way. And as they are turning their dresser into AI generated manga art, you see what looks like a woman standing in the background, but it's really the poster's like expression and reaction that gets me. Like they look so obviously terrified, but it's so 
funny. That person goes on to use the AI filter on that part of the bed that they saw a ghost in in the mirror and see something again, but then suddenly they're gone. And I just loved this TikTok. I'm sorry, I really just loved this TikTok so much and I really wanted you to see it. Do I know if that's a ghost or not? Absolutely not. I lean towards the idea that it's probably not and the filter is probably just picking up on something else and turning that into a person. But it just, it's so funny. It's kind of creepy. I really love it. But getting into the genuinely creepy stuff, now that we've had a bit of an explanation video to start with and then that video, which is more comic relief. The next video comes from G. Harper, who basically explains that they have started hearing what sounds like knocking beneath the floorboards of their home. What the FXCK is under our floorboards? Just what? It's fucking knocking, though, isn't it? Yeah, what the f is that, babe? It's doing different amounts each time. <laughs> it's, it's a proper hard knock. Like, I can feel it. It's like, it's not on the other side, there's like a few. It's like is it? underneath. They might have a basement next door, will they? In this video, we hear examples of something repeatedly knocking back when the poster and her partner knock on the floorboards of their home. And the knocks vary. Sometimes you'll hear three, sometimes just one, and they only ever really respond to the poster knocking in turn. So for the next video, I wanted to show another example of this, kind of a crazier example. The knocking from under our floor is back at the same time as last night. It's right there. Put your phone there. Pick it up. Oh my. It's vibrating it's, the floor. It's not like it's on the other side of the wood. It feels like it's maybe half a foot underneath and they're tapping something. That's like if there was a brick underneath, they're tapping the brick. Once again, we hear these same knocking sounds from beneath the floorboards. And I have to imagine that this couple doesn't live in an apartment. Because if they did, of course, I don't think anyone would really be questioning this. There was like this one video where the poster puts her head against the floor to see if she can hear the knocking. And you see what looks like the front door of their home. And it definitely looks like a house front door, not an apartment front door. Like you can see light outside. But ultimately the knocking only apparently responds when they knock. And that makes me think that it's something that has some sort of awareness about what it's doing. I debated putting this into this video, but I did want to touch on it really briefly. From TikTok user Aritzia Gates, we have a video of this poster who claims that she received a mysterious notebook. Now, this notebook was given to her by a close friend who begged her to publish it without really explaining much else and then seemingly just disappeared. And the ramblings inside of this notebook get dark very quickly. I had a friend of mine up here and uh, handed me his notebook begging me to type it up and publish it. Um, and at the time I agreed because I thought it was just a silly little notebook, but the more I read it, the more freaked out I get by it. And the more I realized that maybe it's not a silly notebook, maybe it's his uh, warning sign. And um, now I, I don't know if people can read this. I, I genuinely don't. I'm, I'm freaked out by it. I've spent several nights staying up reading it and I, I don't know what to do. Dear reader, I've spent the last few months running from them. 
hiding in caves, rainforests, and abandoned houses, hoping that I can finish putting this on paper before they find me. My feet weep for consolation as I haven't let them rest since I started my journey. However, my mind is in the greatest pain. I've hardly slept as I am haunted by the thought that billions of helpless souls have been condemned to a life without free will. That's why I'm here and a copy of my notebook has found your hands. Let me start by saying that the world you think you know has been built on nothing but false truths created by higher entities that go unnoticed by the human eye. If you're reading this, it means that you have the ability to accept that there's plenty more to this universe than your five main senses can perceive. Do you remember when you walked into a room and forgot what you were planning to do, or when your favorite shirt went missing, or when you swore you heard someone say your name but no one was there? That all happened for a reason, but not the motive you think. This goes further than forgetful thoughts. Death and survival are not up to fate, they're merely just a number and a mathematical equation made to serve others outside of this universe. Your life is currently part of a formula. However, this is only true if you let it be. I'll explain later, but as you read further, make sure that you're in a safe space. You won't be able to see them, but you'll know they're present when something odd happens. And something will. This book is the one item I've been able to prevent them from controlling. It will be published by a stand-in author, a close friend of mine. She will ensure that people see it even when I am no longer in this world. Crap, I just heard a woodboard creak, so I must go. Good luck as you continue, and reader, remember that ignorance is not is only blissful to those who are predisposed to blind acceptance. Safe thoughts, see. Whatever it is that her friend is seeing, it sounds incredibly scary. It makes you want to follow along and maybe read this book. A lot of people think that this is promo for a book that this person is writing or maybe publishing soon. And honestly, it's a great marketing tactic. Like, I'd read this. I want to know what the friend is seeing. We have a few videos then from Martina Mina, who I have mentioned in other Haunted Side of TikTok videos. I actually think just like one Haunted Side of TikTok. And Martina, honestly, I'm surprised has not popped up in any more because this is the craziest TikTok haunting content I've ever seen. This video is from back in August and shows Martina and her child just making a video, I think, to send to a family member. And everything seems normal until you notice things happening in the background behind Martina and her child. Say hello, daddy! Mina, say hello, daddy! Hey, You can see doors moving and cabinets opening all on their own. And it led me to wonder what else is going on here. But I saved it and moved on. And when I do these videos, I'm typically going through my mentions and looking in my tags to see what scary finds you guys have tagged me in on TikTok. If you ever want to contribute to these haunted or scary side of TikTok videos, you can do so by following and tagging me at LoeyBugXO on TikTok. You never know. Um, sometimes I'll talk about videos with like one person tagging me and it has like three views. So you guys can really, really affect what kind of TikToks I'm talking about. That to say, people were tagging me in Martina's more recent videos. And to be honest with you, that's where things get crazy. In this video, we see Martina's child alone in a little bouncer as a toy seemingly drags itself across the room all on its own. We even hear the toy say, let's play together. seeing that and the way that the toy moved, I was pretty much of the mind that this was either an ARG or a hoax of some kind. TikTok does have a lot of crazy paranormal activity and maybe, honestly, it's finding out that the Haunted Charlotte TikTok account was all supposed to be so wild that people knew it was fake, but I felt pretty skeptical after seeing that video. And Honestly, even more so after seeing this one. Although I will tell you, it looks like something straight out of Paranormal Activity. It's genuinely creepy. This video features Martina fast asleep on her bed when something begins to move her hair around. Oh my god! Oh 
Whatever this is also turns on the TV and we hear a bunch of noise before Martina wakes up and realizes something has hold of her. I think this is interesting and I'll continue to keep an eye out, but I have to believe that at least for some part of these hauntings, they are elevated in a way. Does that make any sense? I can't say if the whole thing is fake, but I can say that I don't think ghosts are grabbing anyone by the ponytail that aggressively on camera, you know? From Stringer Media, who seemingly documents all of these like abandoned and creepy desolate places wherever they live, we have bizarre footage of a hospital that is apparently somewhere in Chicago. Hello? Now the wheelchair rolling out could be fairly easy to fake as we never actually see what was behind the wall. We don't know if somebody like pushed it out or anything, but honestly I still thought it was really creepy and I don't know what it is about this video. Maybe it's like the wheelchair in the abandoned hospital. This kind of reminds me of Outlast a little bit. And then that crawled under my skin and then I was like, okay, well I have to show it now. And then the next video is from Horror VIP, who has a great TikTok account documenting all sorts of spooky things from all over the internet. But this one in particular features a doll, a ventriloquist doll to be exact, who seemingly has a mind of its own. This is a 1940s ventriloquist doll. It's from the World War II era and it was captured on camera, moving on its own. So the story behind this is that the doll is actually owned by a collector named Michael Diamond. He's a Liverpool man and a father of two. But he noticed that the latch on the glass case kept opening night after night, so what he did was he set up a camera, assuming that he was going to catch one of his children doing it, and this was the footage he captured. we see the glass slowly swing open and as it does the ventriloquist dummy's eyes kind of open ever so slightly and then close again later. This was a creepy video and sometimes when I see stuff like this I'm like what would that doll do if it wasn't behind glass? Is the glass doing anything or is it just like for display purposes? Are we trying to contain the spirit? Because I don't think that the glass is doing anything. Anyway it's fine I just panicked uh, for several minutes and then wondered if I should be putting any of my haunted dolls inside of glass and yada yada yada. Way too much caffeine today, don't mind me. The next two videos come from the poster Querca or Quercha King, I'm not sure how to say it, but they come from this poster who lives on the outskirts of LA and had a crazy story to tell. One night as she was home alone, she realized that her dog started going nuts over absolutely nothing and then the security camera by her front door picked up motion and she explains what she saw in this TikTok. I was getting ready for bed. I turned off the TV. I put my dogs into like their bedroom. Yes, my dogs have a bedroom. And then I was going to get my phone and I hear my dogs growling, both of them same time, like aggressive growl. And I'm like, what the f And then immediately as I said, what the f the alarm goes off, notifies me that someone is at my front door. So I grab a weapon and I start walking down the hallway with my dogs and I'm looking at the camera or whatever and I don't see anything. No, no one's there, right? So now I'm a little more freaked out, but I feel comfortable. Now I'm in front of the security cameras. I can look at it clearly. And it was just an orb that was flying around in front of my front door. And I say orb because this security camera company does not um, sound off when it's bugs. So bugs have flown by my door many times, moths, bees, whatever, right? Beetles, whatever. And it has never um, alarmed us 
that someone, a person, specifically a person, was outside. I gotta do part two. Now in the following video, she explains that they ended up having a technician out to look at one of the cameras for something else. And when she showed him that video and was like, is this normal? Would like this set off a security camera normally? The technician was just like, no, that's really weird. Also, we did call out the um, security camera people like uh, a week later for a separate issue just to um, fix something that I couldn't fix, right? And the, the security camera guy, fixer guy, was like, yeah, no, this is weird. We've never seen, I've never seen something like that. Usually if it's like a big bug, like a beetle, you could see the, the wing movements and you don't. And the way it flies off out, out of camera view, you can still see it very far away flying off, which according to him is very abnormal. As soon as like the, the camera isn't that uh, detailed. So as soon as the bug flies out of like past a few feet, it should disappear with the darkness of the rest of the night, but it doesn't. You can track it and it flies away crazy fast. And we finally see the video here in this TikTok. What I will say is that to me, it kind of looks like a little bug or like a fairy or something flying around, but it is interesting the way that it hits the light and it does honestly look like an orb, like an orb bug hybrid to me. Like I said, it kind of looks like a fairy and it appears to be trying to get into the home. So I'm glad that this poster is seemingly safe but I'm also so curious to what that could have been. For video number 13, this comes from um, Sam, I guess, who I have mentioned here on my channel before. When I mentioned that, it was all about Sam's experiences in a very, very haunted house that they live in. However, this video shows their mother experiencing the exact same thing. Okay, I look over and I see this. There's nobody around playing with the chords, and it's still moving. Ever so slightly. We can see in this TikTok that something is clearly messing with the lights, as we can both see from the lights themselves, but also the projection of the lights on the floor. And interestingly enough, the minute that Sam's mom begins recording, the activity slows down. Now, this led me to kind of search through Sam's account, and I found a TikTok I had never seen before. In it, as Sam films the back door of their home, you see something quickly materialize and then walk off and disappear. I hope that Sam and their family is okay, and I'm keeping an eye on this haunting. Sam doesn't post that often, and for some reason that almost makes me feel like it's more true, like that the haunting is more legitimate, because they're not posting about it all the time. Things aren't happening 24-7 but when they do, it seems really scary. Then I fell down a TikTok rabbit hole, as you do. And it all started because somebody tagged me in this video from Abby Sobata. This video is all about the rules to staying alive in Appalachia, coming from someone who actually lives there. So you wanna visit Appalachia, huh? There are some rules that you need to know. For some context, hi, my name's Abby, and I grew up in Appalachia. I was born and raised in Mount Katahdin which is the end or the beginning of the Appalachian Trail, depending on how you look at it. Then I moved to the middle of nowhere, Pennsylvania, and my family's heritage farm. It's in the middle of nowhere, Pennsylvania, in the middle of Appalachia. So let me tell you some safety rules to keep yourself and your family safe, and explain why these rules are the way they are. So you don't wind up like me and meeting something that you don't want to meet, and playing a fun little game of chicken for your life. Number one, never ever be on the woods from dusk until dawn. I'm talking ever, okay? Lots of things are active then, and you don't want to meet any of them. 
The rules that stood out to me most were don't whistle or sing because it basically acts like a banner to something and says, hey, I'm over here, come get me. Don't whistle or sing in those woods. High pitched noises travel further than normal speech. You don't want anything in those woods knowing your exact location. It's like wave a little banner that says, hi, come find me. I'm right here. We don't do that, okay? Okay. Another thing we don't do is we don't go off our marked trails. Great safety lesson right there in general, but stay on your trail. Final thing, don't look in the trees, okay? You can look at the trees. Don't look in them. You look up at the canopy, go bird watching, find the finches, see if you can find the raven that's been screaming at you, warning, warning you to get the frick out of there. Don't look in the trees, man, because you don't know what's going to be looking back at you, especially from like eight foot down. Don't be looking. Don't do it. Don't do what I did. Cause you're gonna find something looking at you and it's not gonna be fun. If you hear something saying your name, no you didn't. The closer it sounds to you, the further away it is. And the further it sounds from you, the closer it is. So if it sounds like it's further away, it's closer. It's terrifying. Respect the rules. Respect Appalachia. We're cool folk. Been here a long time. Don't die. Don't go missing. And don't trespass on people's property, please. And also don't look in the trees. That is the scariest thing I've ever heard in my life. And you can believe I won't be. I am taking this tapestry of all of these trees. It was supposed to have kind of like a twilight feel to it. Uh, now it scares me. Don't wanna see anything in those coming right off the wall. Then in a very fitting follow-up to the last video, the next one comes from the poster Dark Tales Zero and features what appears to be a strange creature lurking near the campsite. Yo, what the f is that? Yo, yo, what's... Run! 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 Guys, wait! Run! Oh. <laughs> we see as the group gets startled and runs off, a tall, lanky, shadowy figure standing in the light of the tent. And then the poster runs away as they should. So then the TikTok algorithm really started TikTok algorithming. Like, you know, when you like a video with like one hashtag and suddenly it's all you see, that started happening to me. We have another video centering on Appalachia from Che.Jim and he titles it Only in Appalachia. In it, we hear a sound that apparently he's been hearing all night while inside before he quickly heads back in. Here by myself. The weird stuff I have been hearing weird stuff I hear. So. <coughs> yep. Yep, there it is. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Time to go. Time to go. Time to go. And I find this all so interesting, so I scrolled through this guy's account, and he had another video that was really creepy. It also has copyrighted music, and getting copyright struck on a video is pretty scary, so I'm just gonna explain what it says. When you see something weird on the security cameras, but remember, you live in Appalachia. The video then shows a brief clip of two bizarre creatures moving on camera, and then the poster mouths the lyrics to, I just mind my business. These are lyrics to the song playing. And somebody was like, okay, can I see that whole clip? Because actually, what was that? And so the next video is that clip in its entirety. Apparently, a man claims to have caught interdimensional beings on security camera. There's no sound of this video, but we see what looks like two creatures, I've never seen anything like these, move past on camera. Now, I'm gonna explain these to the best of my ability. One of them almost looks like an ostrich or like something on two legs running. They're both really transparent as well. And then the other one almost resembles like an eel or a snake and it's like slithering through the air. Whatever they are, I don't wanna know. I don't wanna find out. I don't wanna encounter them. And so I am simply moving on. This TikTok comes from user My Haunted Apartment. Now, they formerly went by the name Domitigan. That handle is now reserved for their personal account, whereas My Haunted Apartment still documents the haunting inside of this person's home. If you're unfamiliar, for like the last half year, we've been watching something inside of this guy's apartment repeatedly knock and bang from inside of a closet door. Well, in this video, he decides to let it play out and simply tells it to stop 
and watch what happens. And here we go with this again. I'm just gonna wait and see how long it goes. It's never not. Okay, that works. Then we have a TikTok from the user haunted underscore sunshine. And this is a repost from their YouTube channel, The Haunting of Sunshine Girl. In it, we see as the poster's cat looks up from the staircase at a room, which seemingly has some crazy paranormal activity going on in it. Lights are flickering on and off, and it seems as though nobody is there. Watch the way that the cat reacts to poltergeist-like activity. To the best of my understanding, and again, this is just my understanding, The Haunting of Sunshine Girl is an ARG and a very long running one at that. It doesn't mean that this clip isn't spooky, and I'm glad that The Haunting of Sunshine Girl has made its way on over to TikTok. Following this is one of my absolute favorite videos from today's episode of The Haunted Side of TikTok. It comes from the poster The Ali and is simply captioned, Ghost Imitates Wife's Voice. Alexa, turn on all lights. I couldn't find any enabled video skills. Really? Do that. Go to the Alexa, Thanks, Alexa app to manage your video skills and devices. We repeatedly hear the poster's wife saying, Babe, come downstairs. Babe, come downstairs in the same monotone voice. A door can also be heard opening and closing, which apparently coincides with security footage that the poster has. Lastly, we hear a music box go off in this room with the poster, and the whole thing is really unnerving. And then to round off today's episode of the haunted side of TikTok, we have a video from CV Nella. In it, we hear what sounds like a group of teenagers or just young kids hanging out at a park and just chattering away. And they're hanging out on all the park equipment and you know, doing their thing, but it quickly becomes apparent that they're not alone. And watch this one really closely. It's so fast, you might miss it. Can I show you a scary video? Make sure you pay very close attention to this one because you might miss it. Now that you know what to look for, watch this slowed down clip one more time. Something is staring up at them and it scared the crap out of me the first time I saw it.
whether it's somebody watching them or something paranormal in nature, I'm not sure. But I do know that that's gonna be it for today's episode of The Haunted Side of TikTok. There you guys have it, 23 videos from The Haunted Side of TikTok. I love making these for you guys, and don't forget that if you ever want to join in the fun, you can tag me at LoeyBugXO, and I would love to talk about the spooky things that come across your For You page. For now, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you very, very much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.